Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving for ages 6 to 7. Problem 14. Anna, Bob, and Carl each wear a number on their shirts. The numbers are 34, 25, and 18. Use the clues and find each child's number. Clues. The boys wear even numbers on their shirts. And the sum of the digits in Bob's number is 7. What is the number on Anna's, Bob's, and Carl's shirts? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Anna, Bob, and Carl each wear a number on their shirts. The numbers are 34, 25, and 18. So here's the shirt with number 34 on it, the shirt with number 25 on it, and the shirt with number 18 on it. Use the clues and find each child's number. The clues are the boys wear even numbers on their shirts. The sum of the digits and Bob's number is seven. What is the number on Anna's, Bob's, and Carl's shirts? So let's go through the first and second clues one by one. The boys wear even numbers on their shirts. So this means number 34 and number 18 must have boys wearing them. And number 25 must have a girl. Since Anna is the only girl among the three, so we could put her in shirt number 25. The sum of the digits in Bob's number is seven. For shirt number 34, the sum of the digits is three plus four equals seven. And in shirt number 18, the sum of the digits is 1 plus 8 equals 9. So which shirt has 7 as the result of both the digits added? Yes, shirt number 34. So we could say that Bob is wearing shirt number 34. And since Carl is the only one left, we can make him wear shirt number 18. So, Anna's shirt has number 25, Bob's shirt has number 34, and Carl's shirt has number 18. Yay, we solved the problem! Coming up is the fun part and that is... Make your own word problem! Here is a tip. In this type of word problem, you can think of some numbers and think of various clues to identify those numbers. Like, are they prime or composite? Are they even or odd? And what are the sum of the digits? Or what are the difference of the digits? And the project the product of the digits. With that information of, in hand, you could create a word problem around it. Let's see this with an example. There are three piggy banks. One, two, and three. They have 36, 84, and 29 coins. Clues. Piggy bank one has prime number of coins. Piggy bank three has coins which are divisible by nine. How many coins does each of the piggy banks have? In this way, you can make your own word problem. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.